Hi, so in this video, I'm going to help show you how to use Kami, which is a resource and extension on your Chromebook that allows you to take PDFs and to be able to draw in them, to be able to type in them, to be able to highlight those types of things for different assignments that you have throughout Edgenuity with success. So for this example, I have brought up an assignment in geometry, rotations. And notice that this has in it a rotations PDF. So after for this assignment, for example, you would watch the video, watch everything that's in there, and then you would click on the rotations pra practice PDF. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to come up in a different box, and it's going to save save file as. Rotations practice is just perfect. I'm probably just going to hit save on that. And now what it has done is it's downloaded it to my Chromebook. So now what I want to do is I want to go to files. I want to show that in the folder and I want to open that up. So when I open that up, notice it's still showing as a PDF, right? Because that's, that's what's going to happen with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the extension Kami, which is this purple K up here in your toolbar. If you don't have that, all you have to do is go down into your um, just open up a new tab, go to your waffle, that's a waffle if you weren't sure if what that was called, and you can scroll down and you should be able to find the Kami app already downloaded. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to bring up Kami. Now the first time that you log into Kami, it's going to ask you if you're a student, if you're using this for school, click yes, 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 and then click allow, and then it allows you into Kami. So now what it wants to do is it wants to ask, where do I want to get my file from? So I have downloaded that rotations file to my computer. So I'm going to click my computer. So I want my computer and I'm going to go to my downloads. And there's my rotations practice. I'm going to um, open that up. And that's going to come pop up right into the Kami app. Now this Kami app is pretty amazing because there's lots of things that we can do on the left hand side. We can mark up an assignment. We can choose different colors. We can choose the highlighter if we want to freehand those types of things. We can strike through underline. We can comment on these PDFs. We have a text box, which is one of the most common things that we're going to use with that. So for instance, if I wanted to uh, type in my answer here, if this required a type in answer, I could pick my color. I can pick the size. I just go over to the PDF and I start to write my answer. So if I wanted to write the coordinate X comma Y as my answer, I would just do that. And then my answer is there on the assignment. If I wanted to add another um, answer right there or another response, I can just click on it again. It will give, you, give me another text box. I can change colors with it. I can change size, which is very helpful. Exit out of that for a quick second. So then also when I'm over here on the toolbar, I have drawing tools, I have shape tools. In the shape tools for geometry, th those can be very helpful because I have shape tools for rectangles, squares, circles, triangles, lines. So for instance, this example here where it says draw the rotated image on the same graph, well, it's given me a triangle, so I know that whatever the rotated image is going to be, that's also going to be a triangle. So I would just go over here and click on the line, insert a line, and then what I would do is I would, I could pick the thickness of the line that I want. Maybe I want a really thick line. Maybe I want a thinner line. And then all I have to do is go, and I can pick colors again also. I can... Um, it do all that great stuff. So now I'm going to go over to my graph. Let's say that my new image is over here. I'm starting here and I'm going down. So if this is where I want to stop, I'll just let go of my cursor. And then to continue drawing another line, I just pick it up again where I want it to go, let go where I want the point to end. And then maybe all I have to do to finish this is close up the triangle and there's my new image. Okay, so Kami is super user friendly. Again, you can type in it, you just click text box, you can have whatever colors you want, you just click over here. My answer is four comma one. 
and there, there it is. It pops up on the PDF. So very, very useful. I know in some of the other classes you have map projects, you might have a PSA project, it might, you might have other assignments downloaded as a PDF. You can open it up right here in Kami. You can draw on it, you can type on it, you can, like I said, you can highlight. So let's say we wanted to highlight in yellow, we wanted to highlight they, that we were rotating 90 degrees maybe. Let's see here. There we go. So maybe we wanted to highlight those types of things. So Kami is very useful for you. You can open up guided notes here in Kami. You can use the text boxes to type in your answer for the blank responses and use it. Once you're done, you just go over here and you go to either download or save. I would choose just choose download. Click on download. You want to save it to your computer. Name it what you would like it to say. Maybe I want it to say Zimmer Kami Export Rotations because that's my last name. Maybe I want to name my assignment with my last name to start with. I want to have all the pages uh, downloaded and then I click Begin Export. It's going to download it to my computer, save it as a PDF, and then I can upload it to my assignment. So if I go back to Edgenuity, I'm just going to save that there. Go back to Edgenuity. Now I can go to Add Files. I'm going to pop that up. I see my Zimmer ex export file here. I'm going to add that and now it uploads nicely. Then I can save it and submit and move on forward. I hope this helps. Cami is a great tool. Please use it.